This is one I've been looking forward to talking to you about. Sure uh, you have. This regards WCW as well. And uh, there are many marks out there, you know who you are, who believe that Stephen Regal, William Regal, was fired from WCW for embarrassing Goldberg in a match. Now, you were there. Yes, I was there. What actually happened? He embarrassed Goldberg in a match. Okay. Yes. And that was the reason why he was fired? As far as you can tell? I think so. You think so? Yes. No other reason? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think think he kind of crossed the line that night. Okay. Yeah. He crossed the line, and he really made the guy that they were giving a big push to um, very embarrassing looking. It really exposed him for really not knowing anything around the squared circle. Very, very um, cuz Regal ran circles around Goldberg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And Goldberg was going out there killing and guys all, in 45 and, and, seconds. And the thing is, we all knew he was going to do it. So he told you he, t- he told the, the locker room this was going to happen. Didn't have to. Okay. We know Regal. Regal is not going to lay down for nobody. Regal is one of these Blackpool England, you know, going in the alley knuckle fighting guys. Mhm. That's Regal. He's a real he's a real man. Even though he was suspended once for an incident that did happen on an airplane. Oh, really? Yeah, he was suspended for that. And what happened he there? Was he putting people in wrist locks as well? No, he got arrested. He was arrested. Okay. So he was suspended for a while. For too much apple juice? Well, perhaps. What do you know about that anyway? Well, I love apple juice. Yeah, sure you do. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you do. Yeah. You know, what? What? what th- this is uh, another thing. Yeah. On Stand Up for Greatness. Yes. There will be no more apple juice on the set. Fair enough. No more apple juice. I'll, I'll switch to water. No, no, no. <laughs> as, uh, I don't even want water on the set. I don't want any liquids on the set. Nothing. So, okay. Do, so do what you have to do before you even come into the set. Come into the studio. Can you do that? I can do that. Can you yeah. have a little decorum for what we're doing on a daily basis? Yeah, absolutely. You know, instead of drinking, drinking, you know, with a glass up to your mouth when we're trying to have a conversation. We are. This is that's what people do when they have conversations. It's not what people do you when they're having a conversation. They engage in some virgin libations. Really? Yeah. Apple juice. We're not on this set anymore. Okay. As the, as This is the last time you come in with a glass of apple juice, a glass of water, a glass of milk, a glass of cocoa. I don't care what it is. I need you to stay focused on what we're doing. Very well. All right, Mr. Producer, pass the cigarette. Don't give him anything. <laughs> don't give him anything. But going back to Steve Regal. Yeah. Now, there was an incident. I don't know if it's online. I don't know if it's in the archives. I really don't know. But he was coming back from, I think it was Japan. Long flight. He had a little bit too much to drink. And uh, I don't know if he was being belligerent. I can't remember. Uh, I remember Marcus Bagwell was on this flight, too. He was the one that told the story. (laughs) And uh, I think Regal, in some way, shape, or form, he was kind of inebriated slightly. I don't know how much. So I'm going to leave it at that slightly because I wasn't there. And the uh, flight attendant and him, I don't know, had some kind of, uh, I don't know if she was trying to move him or get him to, I don't know. You but, heard this third person, obviously. Yeah, the person that was right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he pulled himself, he unzipped his pants, and he urinated on the lady. On the uh, flight attendant. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. But he didn't know what he was doing. It, well, you know, it was kind of like the Bill Cosby thing. He yeah. didn't know what he was doing. Oh, he did. You know, he's just one of those things, yeah. you know, where, you, you know, everybody doing it and you just kind of like, you know, in Bill's case, of course. I mean, this could be the explanation for the real man's man gimmick in, in WWF. Could be. It could, you know, it's, it began on that airplane. Could be. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, uh, I wouldn't put it past it. <laughs> and so the 
the El Capitan came out, pissed off. You know, they called, uh, I think, the next town that was probably in Alaska somewhere, you know what I'm saying, coming back from Japan. <laughs> I think the nearest town might have been Alaska. And uh, I think they uh, landed, threw all their belongings off the plane, threw them off the plane, hit the button, and left them there. <laughs> <laughs> so, in summary, what you're saying is that Mr. Regal was fired because he embarrassed Goldberg. Mm, yeah. 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 But he was suspended one other time okay. for uh, urinating on uh, flight attendant's feet. Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't know what he was doing. Well, I mean, if you're going to urinate on any part of a flight attendant's body, I guess the feet would be the most practical place. I'm saying that because I wasn't there. Who knows where it went? Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, we'll have, to, we'll have to follow up with Marcus Bagwell <laughs> on a future episode.